Hello everybody and welcome to the Brog. I'm your host and thank you for tuning in. This is episode number 70. That's right folks, we've been at this for 70 episodes now. And this is also the episode where I told myself I would look in the camera for as long as I could and see uh, if that's any different than uh, what I normally do, which is not sort of look in the camera all the time. Speaking of things that have nothing to do with the broad, I was given a new cell phone. It's a Crazer. You know, my old one is right here. And uh, Motorola. And this one is also a Motorola. And uh, my plan is, my plan was, when this phone died, that I would get a updated phone, but not one that was overly, uh, overly uh, integrated with technology, if that makes any sense. I was looking at getting an Android, maybe that's the opposite of what I just said, but I don't want an iPhone as a short. So uh, anyway, and then I went out with uh, a girl who happens to collect all her old cell phones and she said hey uh, try this and I put my sim card in and it worked so now I sort of have to go back to the drawing board because I bought this cell phone in 2000 and five six I want to say five five or six probably six and in 2006 this was sort of not not the not the peak technologically but it was it was up there anyway so it, it it hasn't died but it still works but anyway I got this one and the cool thing about this one is that I can take videos so this is sitting outside of uh, Rick's place in the backyard I was taking a video of the chemtrails in the sky And he was talking to me about his band. And I was shooting chemtrail videos. So it's sort of neat. This is, um... This is on top of uh, a roof. You know, I usually don't talk about our businesses that much, but... Uh, one of the businesses that uh, we run is a roofing business, so that was inspecting one of our job sites on a Saturday. But this is, I took this video. That's actually, I was sitting at the Butterface show watching the band. And uh, so it's cool, I don't really know, you know, I'm sort of technologically inept when it comes to cell phones, but on purpose. I know how to use an iPhone and an Android, and I know how to use this phone. But you know, like I, I'm sh I don't have a USB cable, and I'm sure there's some way that I could get the uh, the videos, all that, and pictures that I've taken off of it. But I don't know how to do that yet. So this is my new main squeeze of a cell phone, and that's all I got to say. I'm gonna switch this. Song. Let's listen to some Chevelle. So there's a lot we could talk about. I've sort of, as you can see from the last few brogs, I've been covering chemtrails quite a bit. And it's sort of a, not really a deviation from what I normally do, but uh, usually I don't focus so much on the chemtrails. But it's sort of hard because the, the area that I live in, uh, we wake up every morning and I see just the, the sky is completely covered with lines or not so much that or, or it'll be haze and it's aggravating. So I just wanted to stop 
and maybe I'm naive. Uh, I have people telling me now that uh, the planes aren't planes at all. They're holograms leaving some sort of uh, alien plasma, maybe. The moon isn't real. It's made of uh, plasma or orbs and, uh, you know, these are all things that I, I don't know 100% for sure. I'm, I'm, some of it sounds a little weird, but uh, if you look up Ben Livingston, the father of weaponized weapons, uh, of we weaponized uh, weather, rather, or if you look up uh, the, wor the movie What in the World Are They Spraying, uh, you can see some pretty clear examples of aerosol jet aerosol uh, jets retrofitted onto planes that have been used to aerosol spray uh, testable vaccines or test random things or whatever they're spraying particulate in the sky as John P. Holdren talks about in geoengineering uh, geoengineering panels there's a lot we could discuss when it comes to chemtrailing or geoengineering um, the proof is out there that it's happening uh, John P. Holdren talks about how it's on the table John P. Holdren is, Ob is Obama's science czar. Uh, you could also look up to DDT spraying in the 60s, which is sort of uh, an at-hand example that pretty clearly shows that the government uh, will spray people with chemicals. And you can talk about, well, DDT was for this or for that, but the, another way to look at it is the government sprayed people with chemicals right in their front porch, right in their front yard, over pools. I've seen the videos and you can see them too. I don't really want to talk about chemtrailing today. Um, I've emailed my city's representatives the videos that I've done and information about chemtrailing. I want it to stop and anybody who's watched the blog knows that. You know it, I know it, I want it to stop. What can I do? That's how I feel, I want it to stop. I'm heading out of the country, everything going according to plan, uh, in two days, day and a half, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to do some updates uh, from where I'm going, and uh, I'll tell you exactly what's going on when I get there, if I can do an update. If not, then I'll do one when I get back, and that'll be that. Um, what else can we talk about? We can talk about what's going on in the news. We could talk about the drumbeats to war with Iran and et cetera, et cetera. But uh, I don't really want to talk about that too much. I mean, the U.S. has been trying to provoke a war with Iran forever. You can see their geopolitical strategy. You can see the U.S.'s bases basically surrounding Iran protecting as a buffer between the state of Israel and Iran and it's nothing new that um, the US and the geopolitical elites have been trying to start a war with Iran and it wouldn't be conducive to uh, world safety, it wouldn't be conducive to anything except for making money for the military industrial complex funding and selling more guns, bullets and bombs and uh, if Obama and his staff or advisors are convinced that go, uh, starting a new war will be Obama's war and save his presidency, they're lunatics. It's it's completely uh, completely ridiculous if that's what they think. And if they're that twisted that they think that uh, starting a war with Iran is the way to go, then you know that's ridiculous. And I hope it doesn't happen. And. If you love peace and safety, then, you know, you would hope that it doesn't happen, too. So, we could talk about a lot of things, but, you know, I just wanted to give a little brief little update uh, about uh, what's going on. 30, still 30, still haven't drank tea, coffee, or alcohol, and as far as meat goes, I ate a tuna sub the other day. I split it with my mom, my mother, on Sunday. I try to visit my mother every Sunday. I brought her a, a tuna sub, and I had half of it. And uh, so I've been pretty much a vegetarian, fruititarian, since I turned 30 on October 26th. And uh, it's been good. No complaints. I was telling Fiona earlier that uh, the other day I wanted a tea. 
I craved a uh, honey, no, I craved uh, Earl Grey tea. I do like Earl Grey tea, but not gonna have it anymore. So I wanted one of those, but so far it's been pretty good. As I look into your eyes. See, the reason, I'll tell you why, the reason I don't look into the camera is because there's nobody here. It's just me talking, so my eyes wander because if you were here, I would talk to you in person. I would talk to you like I'm talking to the camera. I would talk to you if you were here. I would tell you the truth from a dull face for life. You're not made of ceramic, my darling. You're a survive. You'll survive. You'll survive if I tell you the truth. But the thing is, you're not here, so I'm talking to a camera. So usually my eyes tend to wander because I realize you're not here. But we can pretend that this is you. Maybe that's what I should do, is put like eyeballs on the camera. Instead of just having one eye. All I got is a blue marker here, I think. I have to go get a magic marker. I'll do that for next time. I'll put like a face on that. Or maybe I could put Homer up there. Put my Homer. I'll be talking to Homer. My Homer's a bit to the left. Maybe that'll help, I don't know. If I call you Homer, it's nothing personal. Hmm. Well, anyway. That's bro all I wanted to say. I'm hoping to give uh, some updates in the next few days about uh, my travels and whatnot. And uh, thanks for tuning into the blog. Regular watchers slash readers or visitors of adamjosh.com will realize that um, I've changed the name subtly from the Adam Josh Oral Brog to just The Brog. Um, as I've talked about before, I don't like the word blog. It doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, writing is writing. I mean, writing on my website is, it's not really a journal. It's not really... I mean, vlogging makes sense because it's a video log, right? But blogging, the word to me doesn't really make too much sense. So I called it Brog instead on my website. And uh, this has sort of just evolved over the, the year and a bit of from talking into a camera and reading my uh, blogs on the website into sort of like an online journal, sort of talking about what's on my mind. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, brog is the past tense of brag. The past tense of the past tense on the past tense of the past tense of brag, I suppose. Me sort of paying a indirect homage or giving some... trying to be funny by saying that when you're on camera, you're bragging, I guess. I thought about the other day uh, doing one of those money shots where I just sit on camera and count money because uh, I happen to have a safe handy with a lot of cash in it lately, but I've since moved it. But... <laughs> um, but then I thought, that's that's silly, Adam. Don't don't uh, count money on a on a camera. Who needs to see the money that you have or don't have? I don't have any money. I'm... Emergency response. I was going to talk about this too, but uh, that's a whole other subject. In short, you guys take care of yourselves, and thanks for watching the brog. And uh, we'll catch up on episode 71 if I have anything else to uh, add. It's on my head. Let me think. I can't think of anything off the top of my head that I really want to talk about that's pressing. Uh, go to adamjosh.com, check out the archive se section if you feel uh, you want to peruse more interesting uh, articles. Uh, there's free music there and uh, links to things that I think are interesting. So, thanks again. Take care. Tell your friends to get the brog.